Right, back to it here. You know, I think actually it does attempt to pull up the last save. It's just if I move the mouse, it will it'll mess that up. But as we can see here, this was actually the right save. So save ten. I mean, I have to commend them. They're working within the engine of RPG Maker, and I mean, if and it's not just that; it's a very old version of it. It's like VX, which, like I said, I was making VX games over a decade ago. Um, so it's pretty ancient. All of this UI, like you can't do this with the out of the box. Um, RPG Maker at all. Anybody that's used it knows that this is like. Uh, all custom coded with like Ruby and whatnot. I actually did see a note from the devs that they are working on a second uh, installment of this franchise and they're gonna do it um, not in RPG Maker and use kind of a more standard engine this time with a bigger team. But uh, I don't think they committed to any particular engine, uh, but that'll be cool to see. I got a lot of faith in a dev team like this. They're very, like, communicative uh, if you go to their uh, Discord. Alright, we don't have any arena. I think we we're pretty much ready to go here, right? We might have wanted Barad, though. Do I want Barad? I don't think I want Barad. Let's just deploy here. Is there anything else I needed to do? Just take a quick inventory of our soldiers here. We have these two useless dudes in reserve. Yeah, let's just deploy. The Sea Shepherd, far out at sea from Port Genos. All right, here we are on the edge of a bleeding storm in the middle of Herald Sea. Well, there's the storm, then there's the bloodthirsty outlaws. Can we catch up to the Tide River Sheeps? <laughs> Tide River Sheeps? Uh, yes, they ain't moving. Probably hunkered down to ride out the storm. Riders of the storm. Wait a minute. Your... If we don't make an example of them now, we're going to keep getting pushed around. We can also free the prisoners and treasure they plundered for Port Genos. Any objections? We trust you, Lin Li. I will fight the cult and their pawns no matter where. Hell's bells, Lin Li. I didn't catch it. This must be his catchphrase. Didn't catch it the first play around, but that's the second time I've seen it now. Hell's bells. Hell's bells! I don't find myself on your bad side someday. I hope I don't, rather. Oh, yeah. So we got the, uh... I like these type of missions. Now, I will say, there's definitely more than one of these, but I wish there were more. Where you kind of are forced into like multiple starting positions. Those, to, these to me are the best um, missions. This one in particular is, are, is okay, but um, a lot of the other ones are some of my favorite in the game. I wouldn't say this mission is necessarily my favorite, but I do like it. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this though is it embodies something I don't like in a lot of the map designs, which is these narrow corridors. Um, but at least on this narrow corridor map, there's, you know, a spreading out of the units. But there's a lot of maps where you kind of just start everybody in one area, and you just go up these narrow corridors, and it's just, it's kind of wonky. But, anyway, uh, here's Wonderwall. So, we have some decisions to make. Deanna has the easiest path here, really. She could probably solo this path. Uh, Lindley also has a path that's not too bad. Uh, there's also a character that will pop out of here. So really we want to stack this area here, I would say. 
So let's give um, Stefan some strong allies. Barnabas. Sybil. I think I would actually want jewels. We want two archers, because this is where all the action is. I guess I could put some archers here, but I don't know. Diana's going to just wreck these archers anyway. And then she can move up here and get that chest. Like I said, she can pretty much solo it. Honestly, Sybil can probably solo this stuff too. Although I probably want Elise, or not Sybil, but Lindley. Speaking of Sybil though, I think we'll add Sybil here. Because I do want to be able to take both these out decently before they hit me. Now the question is, do I just add another unit down here? I probably should give maybe some backup to Dana. Let's give it uh, our only unit left, which is Magdalene. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, really quick, I should check the mission every time. Seize all Tide River ships. That should be fine. We just have to go to the steering wheel. That's something I didn't catch the first time around when I played. Looks like there's a spoiler alert already if you check the mission. Narima is not defeated in battle. Well, we'll find out who, Mar who Narima is soon enough. What I will say about her, we'll find her probably within a turn here. Uh, what I will say about her is... Her herself is good, but her group, starting group kind of sucks, so we'll want to probably... We may actually just switch her group out for Magdalene's group. Eh, that's a bit unfortunate, actually. I don't think... Because, because they have assassins, we should probably just move in. We have 11 turns. That should definitely be enough turns. So we'll try to bait them out. If not, we'll just go in here and attack. I'll attack the one that has more assassins if I have to. They got assassins, but they only have one each. Yeah, these groups shouldn't be, like, too bad. Let's go here. Try to take the leader out. Sixty-nine, nice. I actually should have attacked with jewels first, because then I could have moved out. It's definitely a mistake. Whoops. Well, uh, it is what it is. We'll just tuck in there, I guess. Stefan's gonna have to tank a few hits. Actually, no. We could go in with Barnabas. Might as well. Barnabas is, like, unstoppable. My friends are counting on me. Why can't I shuffle there? I, I'm not really sure why I can't shuffle sometimes. I'm sure there's some sort of rhyme and reason to it. Donar be with us. Um... I actually kind of feel like, hmm, I'm going to take these on with Meg and just bring Diana up to the top. Sometimes I target leader two just to try to make sure I kill a, a unit. It's like, it's the only thing that really says focus fire on one unit. We almost actually killed them. Eh, Magdalene's actually pretty good here. But this is probably the group I'll switch Narima out for. Before the Let's move her up this way. We can return fire a little bit here. Nice. I question that they were really the winner there. I'm pretty sure I <laughs> hurt them more than they hurt me, but whatever. Ooh, they have fast casting. That actually could just be because it's in the rain. That actually kind of hurt. I mean, magic is the only thing that really hurts this troop. I might take another hit there from another magician. Oh, no. So much for the surrender. <laughs> what if it said they won the battle? This could hurt. I might lose a unit here. Good thing they didn't target the other unit then. Really? They attacked twice. I'm very confused about that. Eh, whatever. I don't know why their mages are able to attack twice. Eh, 
That's a big hit. Diana is just so powerful. That'll be a surrender. There's Narima. Donar has granted me allies. I will finally be free of these monsters. Yeah, she's, uh, like I said, the group is not great because there's assassins, but uh, similar to Stefan, she herself is good. And. For my people! Really? For my home. Here comes can we shuffle? Okay, we can shuffle at least here. We'll shuffle you here. Attack that. And we'll go ahead and attack this. We can get the dialogue on a different turn. Because my main group there of four should be able to clean up the rest of the main forces. We, don't, we can just lollygag around here. Okay, they are somehow alive. This whole thing got screwed up by me not leading with jewels. I, I'm a little, you know, the last playthrough I basically had jewels and Stefan switched. Uh, Stefan was my cavalry archer, so like I'm, I need to like remember that those are different. You got a plan? Let's go and force surrender here. Here, I think. And we can move him back out now. He's a little bit hurt. Now I can start moving in with stuff. Um, let's take them out with Abigail. Now let's go in and get... I think Abigail does one-shot this group, so we don't need to hit him with... Uh, we don't need to hit him with the archers first. We might be able to just hit the other guys with archers. Maybe I misjudged her power. Nope, we got him. Just need to target the right units. Although that is a surrender. We should probably surrender that. Um, let's actually get the surrender here, because I can move forward. Oop. I want to move relatively forward here. I love this part. Yeah, we'll get a melee hit in here, I think. And yeah, we're not going to get the surrender. We'll just do this then. Probably should have went aggressive. I just don't have a healer with Stefan right now, though, which is an issue. Everybody, nope, we gotta do these guys still. Let's go aggressive on them. Hopefully, the mage attacks the front guy. Nope. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll take him out anyway. Alright. Where am I needed? Get a surrender here. That should be the turn. This guy will definitely die on whoever he attacks. It's annoying though that that guy was able to do that damage. Narima probably won't be fighting again though. I don't. I'm not gonna wait for these units to catch up to the main force. So let's get our dialogue out of the way. 
Liberators, I am a friend. For allowing me to be free, I am in your debt. I end Narima. Vinley, well met. You were one of the slaves here, Narima. Yes, I was to be sold as a slave. But before that, I wanted to free them. Then you are indeed a friend. Please join us for now, Narima. We could use your knowledge for the Tide Reavers for sure. My blade is yours to command, Lin Li. Alright. Uh, Sybil basically did nothing, whatever. She just isn't gonna be good for a while, so that actually is just like to be expected, I guess. I guess I could have went down here. That might have made more sense, but whatever. How can I help, my lord? Um, if I go in, I can get a charge attack and a move back out, uh, but I don't know. That could be a little dangerous. There's a lot of people that could attack me. I also don't know how far back out I'm going to be able to go. Find a way. I think with a charge attack, I should have quite a long ways to go back there. Right? Yeah, Jules is not going to be able to tank much. School is in session. Should have moved Jules first. Strong, everyone. I must be brave. Time to win. All right, how far can they move? Let's bait one of them out to attack me. Oh, sorry. Let's this get uh, Abigail up there. Bet you didn't see this one coming. Still need to get a healer into Stefan's group. A paladin never surrenders. I'm fine with that. Healing or hurting me. It's really not gonna hurt. They do no damage to me. Bait one out over here too. Let's do that. Hold the line, Magdalene. Nice. Be a shame to break up this troop. I am gonna have to eventually, though. It's just. Eventually, you basically only have story characters, and we still have somehow yet to see a named character, uh, which is, like, not a story character, but better than the normal other, like, characters that we see here. Performed all right for having no front line. All right, we've done our job. We've beta them out. Now it's time to reap Here the benefits. Ready or not. Just realized I forgot to seize this. Well, we can get Some that one with uh, Marima, I guess. The time to act is now. Um, I don't know why I'm going to the left there with Lindley. Oh well. So, victory is seize the Tide Reaver, Reaver flagship. So we'll just have to make sure that we get that one seized before. I'm not going to use one of these to seize it though. I might as well just have them all fight here. He will always find uh, a way. I do have to kind of attack this here. Yes, 
form a wall here so that they can't get can through. I love we'll soften this group up first. Target leader here wouldn't be that good because they're pretty good against arrows, the uh, armored guys, and they would just, since they have a single target heal, they would heal most of it back, if not all of it. Because Abigail probably gets attacked here. Well, her threat level is 5,000. She probably actually doesn't get attacked, so I think we actually can go aggressive then. Might be able to get a surrender if the dragons don't kill the uh nah, well, okay. Never mind. Let's get you in here. We'll do a normal attack here though. Because this unit's gonna get attacked next turn. So when you do an aggressive attack, you take more damage while you do it, but you also take that extra damage for anybody that attacks you the next turn. So that's why you're aggressive, you have to use, I wouldn't say sparingly, but you don't want to use it if you predict that unit is going to just get massacred the next turn. Like here, it's absolutely fine too. We're inclined to try to kill them in one turn here, that way we can move in and get that treasure. Got him. Should be it. They're moving out. It's good for us. It's so like here, I would take more damage had I done an aggressive attack. Which is why I didn't. Oh, damn, they took my healer out, those bastards. So unfortunate that both of them fucking go after the same unit. Whatever. Pay for that. You're dead. It's too bad the enemy healers are the only ones with the sense to surrender. You think in that situation they would just surrender, right? I mean, these are mercenaries. It's not like they're loyal fighters or anything. Let's get this surrender here. Mid? Are you kidding me? It's not very high. Brave. Real thirsty here. I'll just get an attack with them. I can surrender this to somebody else. Nice. Took him out. Stay strong, everyone. You got a plan. Okay, I dodged it. The Rangers seem to have pretty good dodge. It's a lot less damage than I thought I would. So see, that doesn't count as a... It's weird that, like, if you end turn on a treasure chest, it will open. But if you end turn on, like, an objective, it just does nothing, I guess. Time to even the odds. I feel like they could uh, change that, personally. Alright, Abigail, you can go in there. Try to finish them off. These dragons are doing a lot of damage. Yeah. Like I said, Abigail, pretty legit. Maybe Abigail will be the best in this playthrough. Oh sorry. Did you need something? Uh you can get the surrender then. Mid still, huh? Well at least they got enough firepower that I can probably surrender them anyway if I fail, which I did. 
Alright, well, we got one surrender. <clears throat> and then jewels can't actually hit anybody, so why don't we just open the treasure? Alright, we can heal and open it. Proof of merit. Repent before the righteous. Let's go ahead and get that. Water affinity. Yeah, I won't be using that's a, that's an affinity I will not be using. Well, maybe we'll see. I mean, a mage might want it. I'm just getting started. Delene held the line there. Look at that. Still alive. After all of their attempts to assassinate. Seize that ship. 408. Seize that one. Um, School is in session. Skip that treasure chest. Silver arena token, nice. Let's see. If I shuffle her twice. Here comes Sybil, ready or not. How can I help, my lord? They'll notice this one for sure. I must have been there. You go. Proof of merit. I have a lot of proof of merits. It's weird, but the items do seem somewhat ra ra randomized. That we will always find a way. All right, we've got all the ships, other than the flagship. We've got all the treasures, all the objectives, so we can I love this finish it next turn. We have we're well within the limit here. Eleven, I think, was our turn to shoot for. Let's get the uh, capture with Abigail, I think. Are counting on me. Yeah, we'll do that. Pretty good. Not a hard mission. Seven eleven. That's like my luck, lucky number there, apparently. Could have wanted probably some more surrender, so I'm not doing a good job at that. Jewels, was it? Yeah. You are Sayonari, like me. Yeah, he's adopted. Never actually been there. Spoiler alert. What? Why? I hear it's a wondrous place. That it is, but we live in a difficult times now. Our homeland is not what it once was. Jules, we Sayonari must stick together in these times. Just promise you will consult me before doing anything rash. You don't know Jules. Jules doesn't do rash things, okay, Marima? He's level-headed. Honor is mine, Jules. Donar be with you. Save game? That's like a rhetorical question. Lindley's bold action results both in victory and in calamity. The storm left Lindley's ships heavily damaged, forcing them far off course. Damn, we're like the Spanish Armada. Her fleet runs aground at the swamp-filled regions north of Lenolin. Aha, uh -huh, I like this mission coming up. This is where we, we get some... a pretty cool guy. 
This region is full of valuable resources, but the working conditions are harsh. The swamp contains plantations operated by slaves and forced by tide reavers. Both the mercenaries and the unforgiving terrain lie between Lindley's army and their destination. The Monastery at Lemelin. Or Lemelin. Or Lemelin. Lindley will take, have to make the choice between her own mission and the liberation of the oppressed people in these lands. are let's just suffer through these really quick yes can I help you I am simply greeting a new friend among us let me express my pleasure in bringing you into our little band of misfits thank you I am grateful to be out of my former situation and I must say, I am grateful to have the scenery greatly improved with your arrival. Okay, I'm at, I, I don't know if I can actually stomach this particular dialogue. Um, we'll just get through it here. here because they're, they're not building uh, relationship points it's just like five measly faction points but hey I'll take them. Hey Narima how'd you end up hanging around the Tide Reavers? When the Tide Reavers raid your hometown kill all the men and take all the women and children one must find a way to survive. Tide Reavers have been my whole life. Sounds familiar doing anything at all to s just see another day. Sayuna. Look how buff Narima is. It's true strength. So, a bit far off from a level up. Let's take a look at the marketplace. M my lad. My lad. My lad. My lad. Either way, either way, it's our lad here. Uh, imposing. I don't think makes a whole lot of sense with this unit. You don't want. It's not like a tank unit. So I don't know. Cheap, but it's not really that good. And Nancy, on the other hand, is not cheap, but uh, a paladin would be pretty good. Their affinity is dark. They don't have any unique uh, traits either, which kind of sucks. Samurai is so-so. I think I don't. I don't hate him. I don't love him. The concept is cool. They're basically like a hybrid melee and ranged unit, but I find their ranged attack is pretty weak. Like, it's just significantly worse than an actual archer attack, so. They're. Pr I probably won't buy these. Barad. Barad has made another appearance here. Barad. Not Brad, but Barad. You know what's funny is this one actually has an extra trait, though. It's like, it's kinda good. And it's not a... Hmm. I mean, Barad actually might be worth buying here. Unassuming's... Well, not... You don't want unassuming on a fighter, though. So maybe not. 
do kind of want to maybe buy some extra healers. I, I will probably buy a healer. We do need, like, another one. I could buy two, actually. How many do I need? So I need one for... Uh, Stefan. And I need one for Narima. So I actually do need two. Unless I wanted to spam Narima. I don't think I'm ready to disband Narima's group quite yet. And, like, have Magdalene join her. Because I do eventually want Magdalene probably to frontline for either... Either, uh, Jules or Narima. But yeah, we'll take one more healer here. They're cheap. Earth is okay. You'd prefer water, but Earth is extra health, so that's fine. Um, what do we got for the trader? Affinity water. Uh, I get it's only hundred bucks. I'll probably take it. I don't like I said though. It's the affinity I, I least am in need of. Definitely getting horses. This is a great item. Puffin feather, uh, feather amulet. I'll take that. You lose a little bit of health, but the evasion you gain offsets that. Now this one's a weird armor. Um, there's not necessarily too many dragon enemies in the game, and especially right now there's not many. Uh, it gives you extra armor and strength, but it actually is minus 20 HP is like a pretty good amount of minus HP. But I could just take this and instead of losing max HP, I'll gain 35 and still gain armor and gain magic. I think I'll take that for now. I don't need the dragon scale armor. So let's do the organization of the army. Stefan. I mean, I'd have to make 12 capacity though right now to actually do this. I could remove the, uh, the knight. Hmm. I don't know if I want that. Well, we got an upgrade to make. Let's do that. The nibbler. That was the one that she found, not the one that we bought. So we got two. Oh man, this is a badass unit. So Narima. Yeah, we could shift some units around. She's already at full capacity, but I don't really care to have those. Even though we are going into the swamp and the assassins could be pretty good there. Uh, let me just check if there's anything special. Not really. Oh, this one has thievery, so we can keep that one. Let's remove this one. Add one of these. I'll add that one with more health, I guess. And we'll just frontline with Narima. Put that in the middle. This could be an okay unit. Capacity is at 50, so I don't have any... It's really weird. I don't know how I have not gotten a single Medal of Valor yet. I don't know what's going on there. Um, Beacon and Unassuming won't really be good on anybody there. Beacon on this unit would probably be good. Right now it's not, since she's the only frontline unit here. I think Barnabas could add a healer right now and they'd still be cavalry. I could just add this healer right now to level her up, because I do want her to be leveling up. And we don't care about them. Let's do that, I think. That works. There's gonna be a lot of uh, assassins, actually in the coming battle. We could probably do something like this. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's change the formation up a little right now. Do it like that. So we're protecting... We're sandwiching our healers here because there's a lot of assassins in the upcoming map in the swamp. So when they attack us, inevitably I can't, like, prevent all of them from not attacking me. So every squad actually right now we should reposition maybe to accommodate for that. Uh, this one I don't care about. This one's just it what it is, is what it is. They're, they're arranged so they can sit back behind everybody. We should probably move Diana's around. Um, let's go like this for now. That'll work. They have actually a lot of uh, space. Yeah, we'll, we'll just add another unit eventually there. I don't want to add an assassin. It's not even worth me leveling them up. This unit is solid. Uh, we could... I, d I don't think I need to protect Abigail here. They're going to be going for the uh, dragons first. Narima, oh, I guess Narima we could move like that. We'll just have to move everybody back after this mission. But there is definitely enough assassins in this mission that doing these type of plays just kind of makes sense. That should work. Probably should do it like this. That maybe. Sure. They don't need the sergeant uniform. Well, okay. If they don't need that, we should just remove it then. Um, And Jules could probably use the Feather Amulet. Sybil. They're at full capacity. Barnabas is basically at full capacity. Stefan's good to go. Deanna's... Probably doesn't need one of these things. I'm trying to think what it would be. I guess the great sword. So we could do the uh, sergeant's uniform. We actually have two of them. Yeah, it doesn't go back. Um, to the proper thing. Who of these do we care to level up? Probably the one that is higher level then. Sure. Who knows, it might be nice just to have another one getting leveled up. Well, if we can do that, we can actually move this back to the original formation. Because she was... So just do it like that. I think that makes sense. It'd be nice to give this armor to somebody, but the capacities just aren't really working out here. The uh, Denari armor. Maybe we don't need that steel plate armor, huh? It's just like worse than the Denari army armor. Yeah, this is just objectively better. There we go. So, now we have more health, same amount of armor, more magic, which kind of is, is, it does make my healing better. So I think that's a pretty good upgrade. We're looking pretty good then. Um,
Yeah, these units just aren't good. I'll, I'll be able to buy units at the next one. Let's just hit this arena real quick. Uh, I can save for whatever that's worth. You never know. The game might crash and whatnot. Or I might just have a horrible arena. You only get so many of these tokens. Damn, I'm getting like really rough squads. These two right here could represent quite a lot of damage to me. We probably want to bring our A-team to this fight. Let's get Linley. Jules. Actually, Jules can go there. He's going to have a lot of movement. Stefan, we want to be able to fire shots. Actually, we should go like this. Because Barnabas can get in there. And then probably hmm, Diana or Abigail. Diana's leveled up enough. Let's get Abigail in. Let's get him. Master Sergeant, awaiting order. Real thirsty here. Stay strong, everyone. So we'll move up there, do a charge attack. Let's we'll do an aggressive attack, actually. None of them got shocked. Oh, sorry. Did you you up here. They're pretty softened up for Barnabas here. I ain't got all day. By the way, I swear this music here is like from Mega Man, right? Am I going crazy or is it from Mega Man? I'm pretty sure it's from Mega Man. Might as well just do a normal attack here because we're going to get attacked. Unless I want to move out of the way, but I don't. Barnabas is actually a little bit under leveled right now. So I want him to actually be one of the main units that gets leveled up in this arena. I have all my guys positioned against assassins, which isn't necessarily great, considering there's not a single assassin that I'm fighting, but whatever. For my people, for my homeland. I can do this. Blasted by a cannon here. It's not gonna be pretty. Alright, we weathered the storm. We're gonna definitely want to try to charge at that cannon next turn. Wow, they moved out of the way. That's great for me. Oh, and they're attacking archers and just getting wiped. Wow. Not the most tactical move I've seen in my life. Stefan's coming into there, or is it Jules? Jules is coming into his own here. That was a pretty devastating attack on me, actually, but we're, we're rallying back here. Jules is getting good experience here. Let's have Abigail move left and meet that troop. Well, let's see what we're doing here first. I'd rather make sure that these two get taken care of. So... You got a plan? I must stay strong. Let's get Lindley up here to take on that cannon. The cannons, by the way, cannot fire back at all on defense. So similar to the firearms, I'm also not a he cannons are another one where they're devastating on the enemy team, but they're like, I, I don't really think they're that good on your own team. I like them a little bit more than firearms because they have huge range, like I can attack from three tiles away, but they, they cost a ton of resources, resources that really aren't abundant until like late game. 
so like you can't form like a squad of cannons very easily. I must be brave. I could take this out with Abigail. It's probably the best squad to do it with, honestly. This guy can't like get in here, so yeah, let's My just do that. Are counting on me. She is the one. She won't get attacked. Uh, it'll be Barnabas still. So let's go aggressive. We want the Cena to die. These guns, they'll shoot back, but they're like. Oh wow, they, they're still pretty devastating on defense. I was gonna say that they don't do as much damage on defense. And then I literally got one shot from my 190 self and health armored tank there. Well, we're probably going to want to keep Barnabas here. Well, I could move Stefan here. Time to end this. Let's strike them. Just so I can heal without getting hurt. I mean, I'm going to get attacked by them anyway, so I can just attack them as normal. Keep you over here. I could go over here with Stefan too. This one coming. But then these guys are going to come down and try to get jewels. Well, I could hit and run with Marcus. That's, yeah, let's... I love this part. 58894... Let's go get a surrender. I didn't want a target leader there, I guess I should have, but I didn't want, like, because I didn't think I could kill the leader in one hit. I didn't want it to get, like, all the heals. If I put it here, they're more inclined to attack here. They might just move up here and attack them, though. No, we'll see. for Lindley. Not gonna hurt me. This, this is a weak troop right here. All of these units suck. Stefan can weather the storm here. Nice. Dodged and still died. Alright, whatever. I guess you can't weather the storm. Technically, I won that fight. I would disagree with that statement. Double, triple free action, wow. They're still not dead. Still kind of feel like archery could could do more damage. The battle lies before me. Uh, let's get a surrender here. Probably gonna take them on with Lindley. a lot of damage and health in that group, Chad. I did lose a unit with Abigail. 
How can I help, my lord? Kind of want to hit that with some uh, some arrows. I can do this. Oh, really, I can't can't get down there. Um. The time to act is now. Oh, sorry. Did you need something? I must not Let's just see what we can do here. I swear that they just healed the dead unit. Was that just a visual bug? I swear that they tried to heal my dead unit. That's a good surrender right there. No, always find let's a way. get in here and just start taking pot shots. They don't have any range to retaliate with, so we might as well. We do have two healers though, which is gonna make us end up not doing too much damage. But uh Bet you we didn't can, see this we can definitely get some good hits in here. I arguably they arguably gained health there though. Okay, hopefully the archer doesn't start trying to just go for my base. Good. Should get to try to get the capture with Abigail if we can. I must be brave. Are you shitting me? Well, let's do it anyway. They're not gonna voluntarily surrender, but we'll get to surrender anyhow. Should have surrendered while you had the chance. Now you burned to death, you dumbass. Congrats on being really fucking stupid. Stay strong, everyone. Brutal. I cannot get through these guys. I love this part. Let's see if I'm actually doing damage here or healing them more. I, I'm definitely healing them more as things. Archers are pretty weak. I don't know. For my people. For right, my we'll do a hit and run with Barnabas. As long as I don't die from this. I mean, they got tier 3 mages in the back, but at least they're ice mages. I really only kill one guy there. Okay. What the fuck? There we go. That was an attack. That's Barnabas right there. That's classic Barnabas. Just cleaving their leader and their healer. Alright, let's finish him off with Lindley. We should try for the surrender. They had a mid chance, so. Now they're gonna get free moves in. Whatever. Yeah, we got some surrenders out of it, it's fine. We're still under the turn limit, I think. I'll have to double check. It might have actually been six. No surrender there. Uh, who do we want to give the capture to? I think Barnabas. School is in Barnabas session. needs a little bit more leadership. Oh yeah, we had eight turns. We were in five anyway. That's actually a lot of surrenders for an arena fight. That's pretty good. We got a thousand gold out of it, thirteen experience. 
Still no fucking Medal of Valor. I don't know how I'm getting no Medal of Valor. Oh, Jade Figurine. Jade Figurine is so good. It's like one of the best items in the game, in my opinion. Let's take a look at it. So, definitely saving that. Let's go with, back with save 09. So if we take a, a look, um, so whoever has the capacity for that is going to be in a pretty good spot. Uh, Barnabas would actually be a really good group to put it on. Because they're so tanky. So what it does is it gives you like a, a one-third chance to just do an entire extra move. Um, yeah, let's give it to him. Yeah, 30. Oh, I'm one capacity short. Nope, I'm exactly at the capacity. Perfect. So yeah, 33%. It doesn't give any stats, but 33% chance to have a second turn is very, very good. You'll see. It's ridiculous. Um, For Barnabas here, we would want a, a hospitaler. Or hospitaler. Just want a full on cavalry unit. This is good. No other upgrades, it seems. That's fine. Still have the same choices here. And considering we just we don't have any actual capacity to add any units, I'm not really in a rush to buy units that are kind of mediocre. But yeah, that'll probably do it for this one. We'll do the next mission in the next one, and it's a really fun one. Definitely, we're, we're going to get one of my favorite characters in the next one, too. Uh, I'll give you a, a hint at what it is. It's not a human. It's not a human, so that's what I'll... I'll leave you to uh, guess as to what the new character is going to be in these swamps. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.